it is the second show date, and today I would like to sh show you um, a few of our costumes, or all of our costumes I'd like to show you actually, because they're all really cool. We got this one. This is Granny's costume for Little Red Riding Hood. This is her nightgown. So we've got, it's pretty easy to put on. We've got this nice lace on it. And then here's Granny's wig. I'm not sure where it came from, but this is a wig, a white wig. And I'm pretty sure we attached the nightgown. And then you got these cute little glasses. And then here, we've got cow number two, or fake cow, flower cow. This cow, we've got some patches on it to make it look like flower. And we actually spread baby powder on the back to make it so that when we pat the cow, it looks like flowers flying up. So the first time there's baby powder like all over the stage. And then we also got this chicken outfit that me and um, my partner Julia wear. Casey, could you hold that? Yeah. So we've got, it's rather complicated, but first we have this tutu. It was used in one of the previous shows. Sorry. And on the back, see it's all sparkly and pretty, and on the back we have a fan that was broken and then we stuck it on there. And then underneath, so that I can lay my egg easily, we've got this pouch for my egg to go in. And my egg... We also have these wonderful leggings. They're yellow and then on the bottom they glued feathers on. And then here, We've got this yellow shirt. It has feathers glued there and around the sleeves here. Oh, we've also got Little Riding Hood's cape as red as blood. Now, her dress is probably downstairs, but this is a really cute cape. It's got that little pointy thing, that's fairy tale sort of feel. It's really cute. I love it. Hello. So, can you explain your costume here? Um, well, this is a blue dress, which I wear with my stepsister. And then I also like the lace around there, that's fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look at your wigs, because those are awesome. <laughs> this is the original dress. It had nothing except the blue. And it was so pretty before, but we uglified it. Yeah. Oh, my stick. Okay. Okay, yes. So, I've repaired the switch. Okay. And I put little tabs of glue in this battery pack. Okay. So if you don't have your hands on, it's not going to bounce out on you. Yeah, I forgot to put it on there last night. And there's brand new batteries in this. Good, thank you. Okay, I'm going to okay. be much more careful with it. And it does work. Yay! Yay. That's really cool. Okay. Hello! Hello! Can you explain your costumes to me? Uh, well, this is my Cinderella Prince costume. Very uh, nice. I guess this beautiful Glendring. sword. Yeah, it was actually Glamdring in The Hobbit, but I get it for myself now. Yeah. Uh, my sash is actually belt. Yeah. But actually, uh, the first time I tried on all my costumes, it didn't have this, 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 this. It was just this vest. Mm. And I was like, this, this isn't going to look very <laughs> Yeah, it good. looks much better with the Yeah, with everything, it looks so awesome. Yeah. And the dress was really pretty before, but then she... Yeah, same with all the steps of her dress. It made me really sad because it looked like Ariel's dress. Aww. And my hair is naturally red, so it looked like Ariel. And I was like, oh, I'm going to look so pretty. And then, <laughs> no. And no. then this, this happened. happened. This is like kind of like a hint to the other one. I'm going to take a look at that later. The other one with like the black. Yeah, it's yeah. like a foreshadowing. Yeah. Of <gasps> I like that. <laughs> it's my song. I feel Johnny. Hi. Can I see your your hat? I'm not sure if anybody can hear us over this music, but I love what it says on there. Kiss the chef. That's fun. And my apron is behind me. Oh. Costume pieces yes, ever. <laughs> and here we have Rapunzel's hair. I'm not going to show you too much because it's really cool. But it goes down all the way to the top of the tower. And then at the top, you have a wig. I don't think you can see it. Here, that's attached to it. The slippers as pure as gold. These things are amazingly gorgeous. Cinderella's outfit is like the best. I love these. They're so pretty. And then you got Scrubby, Cinderella's scrub brush, and her broom. He doesn't have a name yet. 
This was used in The Hobbit as well. It was Thorin's crown, but now it is uh, Prince Charming's crown. And here is a wolf, the wolf's mask. Yeah, and da da da, and his hat with his little ears. I like it a lot. Here's the baker's house again. Okay. Cookie. Cookie. Fred gets to eat a cookie on stage. He's so lucky. Hey, mom, what are you doing? I'm fixing this fringe. What happened to it? Someone stepped on it and it got loose. Oh. Can you explain your costume? Um, I'm Cinderella's father. Yeah. I'm supposed to look like this is supposed to make it look like I was in battle. Like it makes it look oh. like a war signature type thing. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing? They're so fixing my head oh. and my spine. What happened to it? Well, my spine keeps falling and I can't see out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Can you explain your costume to us? I am Cinderella before the ball. Yeah. So I'm kind of all raggy. I've got beat up shoes, headbands. You know I'm a maid. Yeah. Costume to us? Um, um, well, I'm a baker's wife. Yeah? So, you got apron. Apron, and then, is this a separate skirt from the shirt? Yeah, it's separate, and then I've got a petticoat underneath. Ooh, hot. Yeah. And tights. And tights and boots. I love the embroidery on the sleeves. Yeah. That's what makes it for me. Um, we got it thing. at like Puzzle Claws or something. Me awesome. and my mom actually made this costume. Uh, wow, that's awesome. Um, mainly her. I mean, we made it from scratch except for the top. That's awesome. And the this, whatever I said it was before. Petticoat. petticoat yeah. Um, but yeah, she made this all from scratch and she made this from scratch too. Awesome. Great. Okay, I'm gonna go get changed, and you're gonna see my costume. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Hello. So this is my witch outfit. Um, what color is it? This mask. It's interesting. It's like green. I was with Brad. And it gets really sweaty. Oh yeah. And then here we've got this cool cape. I just discovered this pocket. It helps a lot. And then it's got this really fun hood that I can pull down over my face. And I've got underneath here, I've got this Velcro thingy that can undo itself. So when I change, it's easy to change. And then here I've got this awesome skirt. I love this outfit because it's just flowy and breezy. And then I've got these shoes, my jazz shoes. Explain your costume to us. Okay, well I got an apron here because you know I'm I'm a mother and my lovely dress were old fashioned and white blouse because that's like the fashion back then. And yeah, can you see naked? How about your boots? Well, they're worn and torn and all sorts of places. And this is Cinderella's stepmother's dress during the finale. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And then she it's a bit too big for her, so she ties it. And then we've got this beautiful black lace. Here we've got Rapunzel's outfit. This pretty golden collar here. And she also wears like a snowflake necklace with it. And golden lining there. It's real pretty. This was originally going to be my villager costume, but we decided it looked like a vampire, so we decided not to use it. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Alexander. Alexander. And what is your role in the play? Well, I'm, I'm Lucas's horse. And Lucas is the prince? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, Stop Jameson, himself. but... Yeah. You shut up! Wait. Seriously, <laughs> what? Your name isn't Lucas? No, it's, it's actually Jameson. But, but I'm just Lucas on the show. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> this is Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. He's not talking right now. His neck's kind of broken. Oh, that sucks. Great call. You yeah. Yeah. The yes, catalog. it's broken. I can explain why, but there's a little piece inside of his neck that detached from the shaft in here. So. Will he ever be fixed? I was going to fix him, but I don't have enough time anymore. Oh, but we need him. I, can, I can still control him. Okay, that's good. He just doesn't control you. 
Really? Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what are you doing now, Mom? I am fixing a shoe. Are these for Dorothy? <laughs> no, they're for Cinderella's stepmom. What happened to them? Ah, all, the spark ow, ow, ow. all the sparkles are coming off. Oh, that sucks. So I'm gluing them back on, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but grandmother, what big eyes you have. Da, da, da. So here, the third of the Hobby Horse Trio is Holly Alexander. He is Raven, the steward's horsey. He's asleep right now, so we should probably not bother him. has just occurred. Our baker is dead. Let's hope he comes back to life in time for the show. You just said something. That means you're alive. Yay!